5 unusual animal senses number 5 electrical bill when the platypus was first reported to scientists in Europe the description of a mammal with a bill like a duck which lays eggs was considered to be a hoax. Just what is the purpose of the absurd looking bill? The platypus hunts for small invertebrates at the bottom of rivers and ponds. While diving its eyes, nostrils, and ears close against the water. The bill of the platypus is packed with sensory cells able to detect the weak electrical fields put out by animals as they move as well as the electrical sense the bill contains cells sensitive to disturbances in the water. Together these two senses, electroception and mechanoception, enable the platypus to locate their prey with stunning accuracy. Number 4. Echolocation. While bats are proverbially said to be blind the real animals do have sight. If bat's eyes are small and rather less powerful than other predatory animals it is because some have developed the ability to hunt using sound. Echolocation in bats is the use of high-pitched pulses of sound and listening for the return of that pulse to judge the distance and direction of objects in their environment. They judge their target not just on the length of time it takes the pulse to return but also the Doppler shift of the sound which reveals the speed of the insect. Being nocturnal and hunting mostly for small insects they need a sense which does not rely on light. Humans have a very rudimentary form of this sense, we can judge where a sound comes from, but some individuals have developed it into true echolocation. Number 3. Infrared. When police chase criminals at night or rescuers search for people trapped under rubble they often turn to infrared imaging devices. Most of the thermal radiation emitted by objects near room temperature is in the form of infrared so detecting this can be used to judge surroundings on the basis of heat. In several groups of snakes which hunt for warm-blooded prey there are pits on their heads which can detect infrared light. Even snakes which have been blinded can still hunt accurately using just their ability to sense infrared. Interestingly the molecular basis of infrared detection in snakes is completely different to the sensing of visible light and must have evolved separately. Number 2. Ultraviolet. Most people agree that flowers are pretty. While they are mere adornments to us they are vital to the plants themselves and to the insects which feed from them. The flowers are there to encourage pollination by insects so it makes sense that they should stand out in some way to help insects find them. In the case of flowers pollinated by bees there is far more to their appearance than meets the human eye. Such flowers viewed in the ultraviolet spectrum often reveal patterns designed to draw in the bees. Bees do not see the world as we do. They have a different range of visible light, blue and green then we do and have a set of cells specifically for the detection of ultraviolet. As my botany professor once said, plants use flowers as whores use lipstick, to draw their punders in. Number 1. Magnetism. Bees have a second sensory trick up their furry little sleeves. For a bee finding the hive again after a busy day of flying about is a matter of life or death. For the hive it is important for a bee to remember where a source of food can be found. Bees may be many things but they are not blessed with an overabundance of brains. To navigate they must use a variety of information and one of those sources seems to rest inside their abdomen. A small ring of magnetite particles, magnetic granules of iron, inside the bee can detect the magnetic field of the earth and help a bee define its location.